It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. You we're more interested in watching that race, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if we can do two things at once. Uh, do the uh, post-race champion of the Gatorade Duel, Jeff Gordon. He drives the number 24 DuPont Chevrolet, and to his right is his crew chief, Steve Latart. Congratulations, guys. Jeff, it's got to feel good to get back into victory lane. It, it feels fantastic. Uh, we talked before the race. You know, It doesn't matter if it's a qualifying race or – the Daytona 500, um, you know, any confidence builder and momentum that we can get is is a positive. And I, I, you know, I'm just really excited about this race team this year. Not only do we have a new paint scheme, but uh, you know, I think Steve Tart here did a fantastic job over the off season, just just fine tuning the the cars, the team, personnel, engineering, and um, you know, I think we got some some neat things in store for ourselves, not just here at Daytona, but uh, but moving forward as well. And it was a great race out there today. Car was uh, driving well, and it was a lot of fun dicing it up with uh, with Martin at the beginning, and then and then with Tony and Jimmy and uh, McMurray, a bunch of them. I can't even remember all the things that went on there, but it was a great race, and I uh, hope the fans enjoyed it because it was fun from where I was sitting, not just because I went to Victor Lane. Steve, your thoughts about uh, how the car is running and uh, some of the calls that you might have made today? Uh, well, I, you know, I think Jeff said it the best. You know, the 150. It, it, it's uh, definitely it gained some prestige. Everybody wants to try to win it. You can see with the passes in the last four or five laps that they really weren't just riding around for a finish. But, you know, I think uh, it was a uh, – sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, yeah, that's our team, <laughs> teammates. <laughs> um, you know, it was a good race. I think Goodyear's bought a great tire for racing. I think it has a little more grip than what we had last year. It really allows uh, – for, for good racing, it also allows for some good pit strategy. Everybody came and put on four tires, and I think that was uh, uh, the call. Everybody that came and took four tires, that was the right call. Uh, really gave the car some extra grip and uh, he drove a fabulous race and we got some pushes when we need to and 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 finally got a couple guys to go with us we couldn't get them saturday night but we had a couple go with us today and and hopefully we can get a couple go with us on sunday questions now for either jeff gordon or steve latart we'll start right here with nate and then we'll go to this gentleman right here go ahead nate nate ryan usa day jeff following up on your comments about um how good the racing's been um why has it been better and and what kind of race do you think you'll see sunday well, I, I think uh, you got to give Goodyear a little bit of credit, you know, for uh, doing a little bit different design with the tire that uh, makes the tire wear and, and, and makes guys, uh, you know, gives guys confidence because it has good grip at the beginning of the run. So, so it makes everybody really get after it, especially if there's 10 to go. Um, the drivers are playing a role because the cars are slipping and sliding around, which brings the, the, the crew chief and the engineers and the team really into play as well because uh, – uh, you got to have a good handling race car and and good pit strategy, which uh, you know Steve did a great call today with those four tires. But you know, I just think this car was designed and built for for Daytona and Talladega. It's really built well. Uh, you know, some sometimes we don't really care for it a lot at some of the other tracks, but it makes up for it in my opinion here at Daytona. Um, it actually, it just it handles good. It's just that there's it's punching such a big hole that it you know it really makes it interesting when you're behind other cars but makes it a heck of a lot of fun, a lot of passing, and, and, and you know, uh, just, just what you're seeing, two and three wide, cars sideways, kind of bouncing off one another a little bit, but I don't think that the show can get any better for the fans than what we've seen so far, but uh, probably will on Sunday. Question right here, and then we'll go to Bruce. Go ahead. Jeff, John Caution, Citrus County Chronicle. Your first race ever was obviously the last for the King, but then your first, in 1993, your first full season, you started here in the Gatorade 125s with a win, and now here we are 20, 
25-year anniversary. Good way to kick off the 25-year anniversary for Hendrick. Certainly is. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, you know, I'm so proud to have been a part of Hendrick for as long as I have. When I'm going on 17 years now, I guess, and um, it, it, it's you know such a special place to work and be a part of. Uh, Rick, you know, is is like like a, a second, or I guess, be third father for me, <laughs> my stepdad, my biological father. But uh, he's just been fan, you know phenomenal to to me and so many other people. He just creates great opportunity. And I was telling him in Victor Lane, he just he spoils us. You know, he gives us such great equipment, and uh, uh, you know makes makes our jobs when we're out there doing that a whole lot easier. So I'm excited to get the 25th anniversary start off right for those guys. Uh, uh, and, and, and be able to celebrate in victory lane for, for all of Hendrick Motorsports. We'll go Bruce and then Matt. Bruce Martin with SI.com. Uh, Jeff, uh, two questions. One about to where, see how old you are. Where are you at, Bruce? I'm over here. Over here. Oh, the right. Okay. To see uh, Joey do as well as he did, you know, your comments on that, because you were kind of Joey Logano before Joey Logano, and also without testing. I've never been Joey Logano. <laughs> you know, I've never been had that much hype. <laughs> Uh, and also the fact that could we see a more wide open Daytona 500 than normal this year? Well, I was proud of him because you know we saw some things in the, in uh, practice. Um, you know, he got a little loose at one time, and I was around him a couple times, and and he he was definitely on a steep learning curve. Uh, these cars drive quite a bit different than the nationwide cars do, um, or the trucks for that matter. And you know, I think that. Uh, um, you know, he did a great job today. He, I, I really thought he did a great job because he gave me a big push there at the end that uh, probably helped us win this race. Um, you know, and, and uh, I, I'm not, I didn't really get to see a lot of what was going on for him throughout the, the race, but I know, uh, you know, I, I would say that he's probably pretty happy with it. And, and you know, that's the thing about being young like that. You're a sponge. Um, you know, I see it in my little girl at, at such a young age, and, and I see it in young race car drivers. You know, you, you just, you're a sponge, you're taking it all in, and you can learn so much more um, early in your career at a young age like that. And sometimes you say, do we move them, are we moving them too fast? If you've got the talent like Joey has, um, you know, and I, and I joked about the hype. I mean, I hate that in some ways he's got that much pressure on him because he's just got a tremendous opportunity and talent being at Gibbs and, and having the talent that he has. And, um, you know, he's just got a steep learning curve, especially without testing. And so I think, you know, today was a, a great, uh, uh, you know, a, a great race for him. I'm sure he'd say the same. Let's go with Matt. Matt Crossman of the Sporting News. Jeff, can you uh, talk about whether Tony's success has surprised you so far? Where are you at? Right uh, here. Oh, sorry. What's that? Uh, can you talk about uh, Tony's success thus far uh, early on? Well, I mean, I think Tony's one of the best that there is here at Daytona. So, you know, I know, I know what uh, our engine package is. Uh, you know how, how good our engine package is but i think what impresses me is is how well organized they are you know how uh, uh you know a lot of times you see a, a lot of shakeups and changes and things like that you'll see little things that that'll bite those guys and and to me they they've they've really come out looking solid and strong every time they've been on the track um you know the equipment is performing as well as uh you know looking good and and they look like they've done a, a great job over the off season but it's no surprise to me, on the same hand, to see Tony up front there because I think he's one of the best drafters out there. Other questions for either Steve? We've got one in the back back there over your shoulder there, Jay. David. David Caravel of NASCAR.com. Jeff, you've won these qualifying races before. Do they mean more to you coming off a season like you just had? Heck, yeah. Any wins <laughs> uh, exciting and, and meaningful to us right now. I think, I think what makes this special – um, is one these races aren't easy to win, and and you know it it, uh, it take, takes a good race car, a great race team, you know to to pull it off and some some a little bit of luck, some good moves, and, and that fortunately worked out for us. But you know right now I think that that because of the pressure that we felt from being winless last year, you know it's important for us to have to gain some momentum and confidence. Uh, that we're doing the right things, uh, you know, for, for Steve and the calls he's making, for me and the, the moves I'm making, just, just to be together in sync as a team. And I think w that's what today does is, is show us and just puts a smile on everybody's face. Everybody's, you know, patting one another on the back and really excited about Sunday's race. And so um, however you can get that is, is important. And today I think is, is a way we were able to achieve that. And, and uh, we got to keep it going, though. 